WB3 King Show. Whiskey 3, Oscar Hotel. It was somebody that uh, did a little uh, snort into the microphone. Uh, who was that? Whiskey 3, Oscar Hotel, QSL. Oscar Hotel Station, come back with your call sign again, please. Yeah, Whiskey 3, Oscar Hotel. Roger, and what's the name? Name here is David. Roger, Roger. David, sounds good. Where are you, sir? I'm up in uh, Southern Maryland. Oh, Roger. Well, you sound uh, sounding beautiful. I'm on my uh, local receiver, and uh, it looks like you're about a 10 over, Roger. Yeah, Roger that. You're you're five nine plus. You're ten over as well. Been listening to you for the last hour. Been uh, very educational. I've been uh, really enjoying it. Oh, uh, Roger. Well, sometimes we get uh, lost in quicksand and have to <laughs> have to uh, try to talk our way out of it. Roger. Oh no, I've I've uh, enjoyed all of it. I'm uh, in the process of. Uh, playing around with uh, my receive audio and uh, not so much my transmit audio, but playing around with the receive audio and I had just gotten a, a SDR play module and the pan adapter and, and using all that. It's been uh, kind of fun. Roger, Roger. Well, if you ever want to double check your receive audio flatness, get you a good um, um, uh, waveform monitor. Uh, in the standpoint of a, uh, uh, you know, uh, frequency uh, monitor, so you can just put that in, and then take your receiver and uh, dial it to a place where there is no audio, I, I no transmissions, and just turn the audio up and look at the band pass. And you want to be linear across the band pass from, say, uh, 200 cycles to uh, uh, 4KC or 3KC, Roger? Yeah, Roger. I'm probably a little wide right now, probably uh, going against uh, ham ethics. I, I uh, should be pretty wide. I, I've been playing around with the setting today and just kind of listening to it on my own monitor, but sometimes it's hard to uh, to see, you know, to hear that when you're talking at the same time. I'll probably back it off because uh, I'm probably pushing over the 3 kilohertz mark. Roger. Well, that's the thing. Do you do you have a, a bandpass marked uh, 100 to uh, 2900 or uh, 100 to 3K? I do. I can go back to uh, 100 to 3K. I think I might be at four 4,000 right now. Roger. I, yeah. The the trick the the uh, uh, the challenge is to be at 3K but uh, still have enough top end that uh, you can uh, hear the uh, syllabic range and be very well articulated. I mean, you know, obviously somebody could open to 10 and they'd say, hey, it sounds great, although you do incur or lose a lot of friends when you're that wide, Roger. Yeah, exactly. I, I uh, checked uh, the uh, wave uh, waterfall there to make sure I wouldn't be too wide. I just switched it back to 100 to uh, 3,000, Joseph. Roger. Now, you're running a, a, a condenser microphone, Roger? You know, Jim, I, I don't think this is a condenser microphone. It's a Yesu MD100. It does have a nice top end. I mean, it's got, you know, usually a better top end than most dynamic microphones if it is a dynamic microphone. What is the radio you're running? It's the Yaesu FTDX3000. I do have the uh, processing turned on. Sounds good. I, I, you know, I would I would run it like that. I don't think you need the, uh, the extra bandwidth, you know. I would just hold it right to 3K. It sounds beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, the one uh, I was going to ask, uh, I heard you mention you uh, were using your SDR um, to receive. I'm running a SDR Uno, and uh, while occasionally I can get a better, uh, I can understand a little bit better on the SDR Uno than I can on the uh, receiver, the noise level is just very high. Roger. Well, um, maybe I should clarify that. I've got a couple of uh, Amazon Fire tablets 
that I'm using to uh, hook up with uh, internet SDRs and I can uh, get closer to uh, some folks that I'm listening to where I have a lousy signal with them on my local radio I can uh, reach out through the uh, uh, internet SDRs and get uh, get a better copy now all those are are on a six position rotary input selector to my uh, mixer so I just uh, you know just uh, take the audio out so the tablets and run them into my uh, selector and, and they come up just like my HF local HF receiver Roger oh yeah yeah that's uh, that's actually a great idea I've been doing a little bit of that although I haven't really successfully made any contacts while using one of the um, web SDR uh, sites but uh, I've been experimenting with that but interestingly uh, Jim I am expecting uh, a mixer today and tomorrow just to play around with oh Roger Roger yeah it well we use one for recording and uh, I am uh, on one mic channel um, from the um, it's the same mic that's uh, going into my uh, my radio. I have a six position. I love six position rotary switches because you can put a bunch of stuff on them and you can check their situation within a second and a half. You can run six positions just zip and you've checked six things of, sim of similar value but slightly different and you can hear the differences as you go through them and then go back to the to the best one. Roger? Yeah, <laughs> copy that. Yeah, I'll have a should have a fun evening uh, playing around with the uh, the two mixers and uh, see see if I need it. Uh, but uh, even if I don't need it from the sound uh, quality aspect, I thought it would be pretty cool to do something similar to what you're doing, um, being able to run the sound out of the uh, transceiver and. Um, the SDR to the same set of speakers left and right. Oh, Roger that, Roger that. Yeah, it's uh, it's really uh, neat. Uh, and um, like I say, I'm using, uh, for instance, uh, I'm using uh, the HF. My HF receiver is position one. Position two is a Rochester SDR. Position three is the Raleigh. SDR position four is the Milford PA SDR, so I can I can check those just uh, th probably within a second, uh, which uh, I c occasionally do on the air, and you can you can hear it uh, as I zing through those trying to find the best uh, uh, reception. Roger. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, I I can see how that would be uh, very convenient as opposed. Microsoft Edge or uh, Chrome. Actually, I've been using Microsoft Edge because I don't think Chrome's um, audio uh, works quite right. Uh, hey, uh, Jim, where are you picking up the those SDR uh, uh, websites? I, I've been using Web SDR, but I was looking for one you were talking about, the West Palm Beach, and I didn't see it. So they must be on individual uh, IP addresses. Uh, the main list is uh, it's called sdr.hu. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but that's my abbreviation in uh, my uh, favorites. So anyways, in my favorites, uh, bookmarks actually, in my bookmarks, I have my favorites, which is about 15 SDRs. And then I also have a second entry called SDR8.HU. And that SDR8HU is uh, SDRs from around the country and around the world, Roger. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I just uh, pulled that up. Wow, there's a lot more in here than there is in the... Um Web SDR. So okay, wow, you just gave me you just gave me something else to play with. Oh, Roger. Now, if you get <laughs> thing is, if you get a tablet, if you get a like I've got a uh, Amazon Fire tablet, there's that is uh, when I'm sitting in my favorites, I can select an SDR from my favorites, and from the tap of when I select it to where it's fully displayed is about six seconds. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's actually pretty impressive for the uh, that um, that fire tablet. Uh, I didn't realize they were uh, that fast. Oh yeah, but uh, you know it. Uh, I've got two of them, and sometimes it's really tough to. Uh, 
um, to play with him and still be um, uh, under <laughs> still be available for conversation. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, there have been many times I've I've missed uh, missed my uh, you know hollering out my call sign while I'm trying to get somebody because I'm playing around. Fire? What fire? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Well, Jim, look, I don't want to keep you. It sounds like you had uh, quite a few people probably trying to catch you. You've given me um, quite a few things to uh, check out. I will. And uh, can you uh, fill me in just a little bit? This is the first time I've uh, talked to you, but uh, where uh, on YouTube do you uh, do you have a channel? Uh, yeah, uh, go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor. That will take you to our QSO Vlog page. And on that page, um, uh, you'll find a QSO that's marked uh, My Group Air Check 3119. Uh, that's today's date. Uh, My Group Air Check 3119. That'll be the full hour and a half recording, Roger. Yeah, copy that. I appreciate that. It's uh, pretty cool. Um, well, look, Jim, I, I really appreciate it. It's been uh, uh, fun talking to you, and I look forward to the recording. Uh, and, uh, and also enjoyed uh, the conversations you had with the, uh, the hams before me. It was uh, educational, so thank you. Roger, Roger. Uh, well, uh, let me say threes there, and uh, you have a good afternoon. Uh, this is KC9VKV.